Well, again, we're still putting all the pieces together here. So what I got so far is about around 1130, a prisoner was being placed back in the cell. Um, the way our, our system works, uh, devices turn to close uh, the cell and it closes at a, at a slow manner. As it was uh, closing, he was able to get out of that cell into an open cell and the officer in charge back there was dealing with some other administrative matters with the court, waiting for paperwork and such. Um, at some time during his stay from yesterday till today, he was able to uh, see the code being punched in to get in and out of the doors. Uh, he would punch that code in and unsecure the garage door because even though it's for jail, we obviously have to have the safety concerns for a quick release just like you would have at home. He was able to do that. Um, the, the key fob was, was close enough to activate the uh, cruiser and he drove from the police station. Well, you know, he obviously was exposed some holes in our system. Uh, not not a, one of our best days, but nobody got hurt. The cruiser was recovered. He was never a danger to the public. Um, he had some drug history and things like that, but not a violent person. Uh, we really appreciate all the help we got from Wycliffe, Euclid, uh, Cleveland must have had 60, 70 guys out there, a couple of helicopters. So uh, just a, a huge thank you to them. Chief, can you describe how you used technology to track him and how effective that was in, in finding out where he was specifically? Well, we were, uh, used location devices in the car on, on his person and, and things of that nature to try to, to get a location where he was at. Chief, can you? that he changed his clothes. Can you describe how he did that? And, and we had video of him with a cell phone. Can you describe how he ended up with his personal effects? Well, I'm not sure about how he got his property back. The, the clothes were actually in the, um, he, when he was initially arrested, we kept his clothes separate because he stayed in those clothes for several days out in the elements. So they were out in the garage where the cruiser was at. So he was uh, sharp enough to, to grab those on his way out and put them over his uh, his jumpsuit. And in terms of a cell phone, was that his cell phone or someone? That was his cell phone, yes. Was it in his clothes? Or? It was not in his clothes. It would be kept separately, but as a prisoner is about to be processed out to another facility that could have been out on the counter, and then we bagged those up separately to go out with the individual prisoners. Did he have a plan with other people to come pick him up at the car lot? He had, he had no plan whatsoever. It was just to, to get away from the facility. Can you talk about his background and how, you know, one of the big themes in his life is stealing cars and going out and, and going to dealerships and stealing cars, and that's kind of ironic what ended up happening today. Well, he, he's a, a thief of opportunity, and I believe it's all fueled by drugs. And when you're in that state of mind, I think whatever you can do for the short-term fix is what he's going to do and then take anything else in consideration. Your assessment about what happened today and what, if any, changes are, are necessary or or do you think the system normally works? This was just an, a, an aberration. Uh, 28 years, the system normally works, but obviously there's still flaws in it. We have to do a better job to make sure that we're checking, double-checking, and triple-checking. We have some um, additional things we'll look at. We'll examine our policies and everything going forth. And I'm assuming, just like if this happened in another community, I would be checking our policies to make sure that didn't happen here. So if by this being recovered with no one being hurt and the, uh, the cruiser being brought back without any damage, if this helps other agencies prevent something like this from happening, that's just an extra addition. Thank you. What was he in for? He was in for uh, grand theft auto and burglary. Uh, just a couple minutes till the officer left the area. Thank you for being so kind. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.